Hello everybody, in this video all footages from Mars rendered in stunning 4K resolution. All footages used in this video are still image, as nothing really moves on Mars, it makes more sense to take and send back images instead of video. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover touched down 8 years ago, on August 5, 2012, and will soon be joined by another rover, Perseverance, which launched on July 30, 2020. Curiosity has seen a lot since it first set its wheels inside the 96-mile-wide, 154-kilometer-wide, basin of Gale Crater. Its mission, to study whether Mars had the water, chemical building blocks, and energy sources that may have supported microbial life billions of years ago. Since touchdown, the rover journeyed more than 14 miles, 23 kilometers, drilling 26 rock samples and scooping 6 soil samples along the way as it revealed that ancient Mars was indeed suitable for life. Studying the textures and compositions of ancient rock strata is helping scientists piece together how the Martian climate changed over time, losing its lakes and streams until it became the cold desert it is today. Curiosity took this selfie on Martian Salt 2082, June 15, 2018 Earth Time. Santa Maria is an impact crater on Mars, located within the Meridian e Planum extraterrestrial plane, lying situated within the Margaritifer Sinus Quadrangle region. It sits northwest of the much larger Endeavour crater. The crater measures about 80 to 90 meters across. Rocknest is a sand patch on the surface of Aeolus Paulus, between Peace Vallis and Aeolus Mons, Mount Sharp, in Gale Crater on the planet Mars. The patch was encountered by the Curiosity rover on the way from Bradbury Landing to Glen Elgintrake. The sand patch is downhill from a cluster of dark rocks. NASA determined the patch to be the location for the first use of the scoop on the arm of the Mars Curiosity rover. The rock nest patch is about 1.5 meters by 5 meters. This scene from the panoramic camera of NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity catches Pillinger Point, on the western rim of Endeavour Crater, in the foreground. It is presented in false color to make differences in surface materials more easily visible. The eastern rim of the crater is on the distant horizon. The exposures were taken through three of the PanCam's color filters. Opportunity's international science team chose Pillinger Point as the informal name for this ridge as a tribute to Colin Pillinger who was the British principal investigator for the Beagle 2 project, which attempted to set a lander on Mars a few weeks before Opportunity's landing. This view of the downwind face of Namib Dune on Mars covers 360 degrees, including a portion of Mount Sharp on the horizon. The site is part of the dark sand Bagnall Dunes field along the northwestern flank of Mount Sharp. Images taken from orbit indicate that dunes in the Bagnold field move as much as about 3 feet per Earth year. The component images of this scene were taken by the mass camera on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover. This image taken by the mass camera on NASA Curiosity rover highlights the interesting geology of Mount Sharp, a mountain inside Gale Crater, where the rover landed. This mosaic of images shows layers of ancient sediment on a boulder-sized rock called Stratton, as seen by the Mars Hand Lens Imager camera on the end of the robotic arm on NASA's Curiosity rover. The images were taken on July 10, 2019, the 2462nd Martian day or Sol, of the mission. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover took these images of Strathdon using its mass camera, or mast cam, on July 9, 2019, the 2461st Martian Sol, or day, of the mission. The color in the image has been adjusted to approximate white balancing to resemble how the rocks and sand would appear under daytime lighting conditions on Earth. This mosaic, taken by the Mars Curiosity rover, looks uphill at Mount Sharp. Spanning the center of the image is an area with clay-bearing rocks that scientists are eager to explore. It could shed additional light on the role of water in creating the landscape. The mosaic was assembled from dozens of images taken by Curiosity's mass camera. Mount Sharp stands in the middle of Gale Crater, which is 96 miles, 154 kilometers, in diameter. This mound, which Curiosity has been climbing since 2014, likely formed in the presence of water at various points of time in Mars' ancient history. That makes it an ideal place to study how water influenced the habitability of Mars billions of years ago. This look ahead includes four geological layers to be examined. The redder rocks of the foreground are part of the Murray Formation. Pale gray rocks in the middle distance of the right half of the image are in the clay unit. 
A band between those terrains is Vera Rubin Ridge. Rounded brown knobs beyond the clay unit are in the sulfate unit, beyond which lie higher portions of the mountain. The view combines six images taken with the rover's mass camera, when the rover was still more than half a mile, about a kilometer, north of Vera Rubin Ridge. Much of Mars is covered by sand and dust but in some places stacks of sedimentary layers are visible. In this image, exquisite layering is revealed emerging from the sand in southern Holden Crater. Sequences like these offer a window into Mars' complicated geologic history. Holden Crater was once a candidate landing area for the Curiosity, Mars Science Laboratory, and is still an intriguing choice today. This view shows two scales of ripples, plus other textures, in an area where the mission examined the linear-shaped dune in the Bagnold Dune Field on Lower Mount Sharp. The scene is an excerpt from a 360-degree panorama acquired at a location called Agungwet Beach. Crests of the longer ripples visible in the dark sand of the dune are several feet apart. Ripples that scale are not seen on Earth's sand dunes. Overlaid on those ripples are much smaller ripples, with crests about 10 times closer together. Textures of the local bedrock in the foreground, part of the Murray Formation that originated as lake bed sediments, and of gravel-covered ground are also visible. A grid of small polygons on the Martian rock surface near the right edge of this view may have originated as cracks in drying mud more than 3 billion years ago. Multiple images from the mass camera, mast cam, on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover were combined for this mosaic of a block called Squid Cove in its immediate surroundings. The nodule in the center of this image from the Mars Hand Lens Imager, Molly, on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover shows individual grains of sand and, on the left, laminations from the sandstone deposit in which the nodule formed. The site is an exposure of knobbly textured sandstone of the Stimson Geological Unit on Curiosity's on-ramp to now Kloof Plateau. The image was taken on March 10, 2016, during the 1277th Martian Day, or Sol of Curiosity's work on Mars. A view from the Kimberley Formation on Mars taken by NASA's Curiosity rover. The strata in the foreground dip towards the base of Mount Sharp, indicating flow of water toward a basin that existed before the larger bulk of the mountain formed. This panoramic image, Dubdrub Alkali, was taken by opportunity on the plains of Meridian e on Mars. The rover was stuck in the dune's deep fine sand for more than a month. Rub Al Kali was chosen as the name for this panorama because it is the name of a similarly barren, desolate part of the Saudi Arabian desert on Earth. Opportunity's tracks leading back to the north are a reminder of the rover's long trek from Endurance Crater. These wind-formed sand features are only about 10 to 15 centimeters tall. Since the time these ruts were made, some of the dust there has been blown away by the wind, reaffirming the dynamic nature of the Martian environment, even in this barren, ocean-like desert of sand. Cape Verde is a large promontory and extremity on the rim of Victoria Crater in Meridian E Planum, an extraterrestrial plane within the Margaritifer Sinus Quadrangle region of the planet Mars. The Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity perched atop this feature to take a true color mosaic of the crater below. A promontory nicknamed Cape Verde can be seen jutting out from the walls of Victoria Crater taken by the panoramic camera on NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity. The rover took this picture on Martian Day, or Sol. 1,329, more than a month after it began descending down the crater walls, and just nine souls shy of its second Martian birthday on Sol 1,338. One Martian year equals 687 Earth days. This mosaic of images from NASA Curiosity shows geological members of the Yellowknife Bay Formation, and the sites where Curiosity drilled into the lowest-lying member, called Sheep Bed, at targets John Klein and Cumberland. Yellowknife Bay is a geologic formation in Gale Crater on the planet Mars. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter observed morphological features created by the presence of liquid water, suggesting the presence of an ancient lake which could have sustained microbial life. The geologic depression takes its name from the city Yellowknife, capital of the Canadian Northwest Territories, in honor of the 4 billion year old rock in the region surrounding the city, which matches the approximate age of the uncovered rock in Gale Crater. Marathon Valley on Mars opens northeastward to a view across the floor of Endeavour Crater in the scene from the panoramic camera of NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity. The scene merges multiple pancam exposures. It spans from north, at the left, to west-southwest, at the right. The high point in the right half of the scene is Newtson Ridge, which forms part of the southern edge of Marathon Valley. 
Portions of the northeastern and eastern rim of Endeavour Crater appear on the distant horizon. Endeavour Crater is 14 miles in diameter. The fractured texture of Marathon Valley's floor is visible in the foreground. Stitched together from 116 images, this view captured by NASA's Curiosity Mars rover shows the path it will take in the summer of 2020 as it drives to the sulfate bearing unit, the next layer it will be investigating on the 3 mile tall Mount Sharp. Curiosity has to drive around a large sand patch in order to reach a place where it can ascend to the sulfate rich region. The upper part of the mountain looms at the top image. Stitched together from 28 images, this view from NASA's Curiosity Mars rover was captured on April 9, 2020, after the rover ascended a steep slope, part of a geologic feature called Green Hue Pediment. In the foreground is the crusty sandstone cap that stretches the length of the pediment, forming an overhanging ledge in some parts. At center is the clay bearing unit, a region with a unique story to tell about the history of water on Mount Sharp. In the distance at the top of the image is the floor of Gale Crater which is 96 miles wide. A view from the Kimberley Formation on Mars. The strata in the foreground dip towards the base of Mount Sharp, indicating flow of water toward a basin that existed before the larger bulk of the mountain formed. The colors are adjusted so that rocks look approximately as they would if they were on Earth, to help geologists interpret the rocks. This white balancing to adjust for the lighting on Mars overly compensates for the absence of blue on Mars, making the sky appear light blue and sometimes giving dark, Black rocks a blue cast. Hot is a rock outcrop on the surface of Aeolus Paulus, between Peace Valis and Aeolus Mons, Mount Sharp, and Gale Crater on the planet Mars. The outcrop was encountered by the Curiosity rover on the way from Bradbury Landing to Glenelg Intrigue and was named after Hada Lake, the sixth largest lake in the Northwest Territories, Canada. This image shows the Amargosa Valley, on the slopes leading up to Mount Sharp on Mars. The rover is headed toward the Pahrump Hills outcrop, seen above the scale bar. This area represents a boundary between the plains of Gale Crater, named Aeolus Paulus, and the layered slopes of Mount Sharp, or Aeolus Mons. Curiosity has recently crossed into this terrain and now is on the Mount Sharp side of the transition zone. The masked camera on Curiosity captured this mosaic as it explored the clay bearing unit on February 3, 2019. This landscape includes the rocky landmark nicknamed Knock Barrel Hill and the edge of Vera Rubin Ridge, which runs along the top of the scene. Made of many individual images, this mosaic includes a variety of geological features, such as several kinds of bedrock and sand. The clay bearing unit has been an important scientific destination since before Curiosity launched. Two sizes of wind-sculpted ripples are evident in this view of the top surface of a Martian sand dune. Sand dunes and a smaller type of ripples also exist on Earth. The larger ripples, roughly 10 feet, 3 meters, apart, are a type not seen on Earth nor previously recognized as a distinct type on Mars. The larger ripples have distinctive sinuous crest lines, compared to the smaller ripples. The location is part of Namib Dune in the Bagnold Dune Field which forms a dark band along the northwestern flank of Mount Sharp. The dark band in the lower portion of this Martian scene is part of the Bagnold Dunes Dune Field lining the northwestern edge of Mount Sharp, inside Gale Crater. The view combines multiple images taken with the MassCam's right eye camera, which has a telephoto lens. The view is towards south-southeast. Curiosity will visit examples of the Bagnold Dunes on the rover's route to higher layers of Mount Sharp. The informal name for the dune field is a tribute to British military engineer Ralph Bagnold, a pioneer in the study of how winds move sand particles of dunes on Earth. This look back at a dune that NASA's Curiosity Mars rover drove across was taken by the rover's mass camera during the 538th Martian day. The rover had driven over the dune three days earlier. For scale, the distance between the parallel wheel tracks is about 9 feet. The dune is about 3 feet tall in the middle of its span across an opening called Dingo Gap. This view is looking eastward. This mosaic of images from Curiosity shows a series of sedimentary deposits in the Glenelg area of Gale Crater, from a perspective in Yellowknife Bay looking toward west-northwest. Curiosity's science team has estimated that the Cumberland rock that the rover drilled for a sample of the sheeped mudstone deposit has been exposed at the surface for only about 80 million years. 
The estimate is based on amounts of certain gases that accumulate in a rock when it is close enough to the surface to be bombarded by cosmic rays. An explanation for that unexpectedly young exposure age comes from improved understanding of how the layers are eroding to expose underlying layers. The explanation proposes that the mudstone is being exposed by abrasion by wind-blown sand, indicated by arrows. The role for wind is strongly suggested by the undercutting of the sheep layer below the Gillespie Lake sandstone. Sandstone layers with varying resistance to erosion are evident in this Martian scene, recorded by the MassCam's left eye camera, shortly before midday of the 553rd Martian day, of the rover's work on Mars. The location is about one quarter mile north-northwest of a planned waypoint called the Kimberley, by straight line distance, longer by driving distance. This image from the Mars Hand Lens Imager Camera on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover shows the first sample collection hole drilled in Mount Sharp, the layered mountain that is the science destination of the rover's extended mission. The hole is 0.63 inch in diameter and about 2.6 inches deep, at a target called Confidence Hills on the Pahrump Hills outcrop at the base of the mountain. This close-up image is of a 2-inch deep hole produced using a new drilling technique for NASA's Curiosity rover. The hole is about 0.6 inches in diameter. This image was taken by Curiosity's mass camera on Sol 2057. This view shows a dark mound, called Ierson Hill, which rises about 16 feet above red or layered outcrop material on lower Mount Sharp. Mars, near a location where Curiosity examined a linear sand dune in February 2017. NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity studied layers in the Burns Cliff Slope of Endurance Crater. The layers show different types of deposition of sulfate-rich sediments. Opportunity's panoramic camera recorded this image. This low-angle self-portrait of NASA's Curiosity Mars rover shows the vehicle above the Buckskin Rock target, where the mission collected its seventh drilled sample. The site is in the Marias Pass area of Lower Mount Sharp, 